hello guys welcome to my youtube channel so in today's video i'll be showing you how to handle um upgrade and downgrade of subscriptions dynamically regardless on how many subscriptions you have in your applications when they up click or try to subscribe to any subscription if it's monthly they are going to weekly it's going to be a downgrade automatically and then if they are moving from weekly to yearly it's going to be an upgrade automatically so you don't have to handle that i'll be showing you how to do it very easily and quick right so before i start with showing you the demo i would like to say um i've got um a group i've created a channel a whatsapp channel group where people can just join for free and then you can also start asking questions uh, so you can get a quick response there right so another thing i've been working on this template so i've noticed that some of the guys they want the the source code right so if you want the source code of the demo that i've been uh, creating in the series right so you can just go to dev then you can switch the branch to dev and you will get all the source codes here this is what we have built so far yes then let's go back to the demo then i will start by saying restore so that you see i don't have any subscription so what i will start i will start subscribing to a weekly subscription then i'll just go ahead and subscribe and then it will tend to cringe telling me that i have successfully subscribed right that means i have a subscription of um weekly now so whenever i try to click here back to weekly it's going to tell me that i already have this subscription then now i can just go to monthly then it's going to process my request and check that oh no this person has a weekly subscription do you want to change it to monthly right so i can say continue and then subscribe then now it's going to change me from weekly to monthly right so again if you move from monthly to yearly it's going to do the same thing give you the same pop-up right something like that then you can subscribe and then also you can downgrade go back to weekly as easy like that so you don't have to handle this thing i'll be showing you how to implement this thing with few codes right so what do you will need is this package so make sure you are using version 13 right version 0 0.0.13 0 all right guys with the demo on the way let's start with our implementations right so before we get started i would like to come here and explain what is really needed from you to perform this upgrade and downgrade of an existing subscriptions right because there are some developers out there that they will prefer to use the in-app the official in-app purchase rather than the one pref package right so they will need um the old purchase details right so it's of type of purchase details then they will also need the product details right what are these two objects right so the old purchase details is the current subscription that the user is subscribed to right so in our demo we subscribed to a weekly subscription right so that subscription becomes our old purchase details we can extract the purchase details from this uh, subscription that we are currently subscribed to then the product details is one of these two since we are not subscribed to one of these two products so we need to provide one of these two product details right so for those who will be using this one pref package please update this package into 13 right so go back to a subscription file all this code it was written in the series in the previous series videos right so you can come and watch this video 
this video part three you will be able to implement that fully functional subscriptions right and then part 3.1 it's based on the auto um, restore subscriptions just a build up from this one so now this video is going to be 3.2 of handling upgrade and downgrade subscriptions right don't forget to come and smash the subscribe button here if you um let's go back now in the application right so what you will need is two things right you need to declare two variables here sub existing so by default is going to be false so we're going to use this one to check if the user has a, a subscription if you click restore like this you see i don't have any subscription so we'll keep this sub existing to false then what we need also is the uh purchase details so of this type old purchase details then once we click restore then we get a subscription from google play console we're gonna take that purchase details and save it here right so let's come to our listener right this listener is going to be called every time when you buy a part when you buy a product or when you restore a product right so when i click restore like this as you can see this oops you do not have any subscription to restore came here in the listener and check these conditions right here right so and then it shows that i don't have any subscription because this purchased details list that is being returned it's empty that's why it showed that i don't have a subscription but now we are focusing on upgrade and downgrade so okay the idea is that right so when you click subscribe i wanna call the same function i called here of restore then it's gonna come here and check if i do have a purchase details if i do have a purchase details list then I want to add it here. I want to add that object here, right? So to check that, it's pretty simple. You just need to say uh, the purchase details is not empty. So I'm doing it separate because I want to separate it from the restore and the purchase, right? So I'm doing it separately right here. So I'm going to say set state. If it's not empty, I want to update the existing sub to true then i wanna go to my old details and extract the first index from this list i assume that the user only has one subscription one active subscription that's why i say go to index zero and give me that subscription i mean the purchase details of that subscription and just add it here right so now we have the old purchase details we are done right so what do we need we need the product details so the product details that one is very very simple all of these products they are product details if i click here i have access to these product details if i click here i have access to these product details and so on and so on right so let's go to this one of these button so the subscribe button which is definitely this one then we need to add some space here so first of all what we need to do is set the restore is restored to false we are not restoring right so we need to make sure everything is is false we are not restoring we are buying here right so then just add an async here remember i said we need to use the idea of restoring the product first before we can purchase the product right so to restore the project the product on subscribe you need to say await then from the in-app engine and then go to the instance of in-app purchase and then restore purchases right so since it's a future we need to say dot when it's complete yeah? then when it's complete right here then when it's complete when i click the restore if there's any
product that is being returned from Google Play is going to come to the listener here. So if this list is more than zero, which is not empty, then it's going to update this to true, right? You get that. Then now we need to await this at least one second, right? So that we must wait for the the listener to handle our sub existing, right? Let's just put one second then you're gonna say then and then close that right remove this this is a future we need to await it and then come here and add async we can remove this here right so within the restore when it's complete we have added a delay of one second and then inside of this we need to put our if statement now if sub existing if we do have a subscription right and then we're gonna call our upgrade method then else we handle our purchase handle our purchase is the normal purchase flow that's going to show if we are, we are buying this for the first time, right? It's going to come to else. Then here, we need to add another condition also. So we don't want, we want these uh, products to be upgraded or downgraded dynamically. So we want to check if the existing product, product ID is not the same as the one that we clicked, right? So to do that, we need to go to our old purchase details product id is not equals to the one from our clicked product this is going to be our click product which is our product details right so we're gonna come here and say id just like that if the product id of the old purchased subscription is not the same as the product details that we clicked here please upgrade it right to upgrade it we need to come here and say async await this and then we can go to our app in app engine then do this say upgrade like that then we can pass our current subscription purchase details here which is our old purchase details then here it's going to be our given product details when we click here which is of this index if i click this one it's going to give me the first index if i click here it's going to give me the second index and so on and so on so since this one is an await what i would need to do is just say then or you can use when complete it's fine then now here we can set state let me remove this Set state, and then we can say change this one to false, just like that, right? Then now, is there something that I'm forgetting? No. Do you think we can test? Are you confident enough that it's working? If you said yes, please click the like button. Mm, okay now it's time to test right we can just hard reset this to make sure everything is working fine go back to the subscription go back to the subscription then we can just start subscribing to a monthly then now it's going to go to our else right here and handle the purchase right going to purchase this so now we have a subscription of monthly subscription right then now when i try to subscribe it again it will tell me that i have this subscription right so let me go and check you see i have a monthly subscription right here so let's go back to the app and click weekly it's going to check the subscription then it's going to say i do have a subscription do you like 
would you like to change this subscription then if i say yes it's going to change the subscription right so now if i go back if i go back to my play console app subscriptions google i mean the play store app you can see now i'm subscribed to a weekly subscription right so this is how you manage upgrade and downgrade right so for those who don't want to use the the package itself here right so you can go back to the official documentation copy this code come here instead of calling this where is it start it and see instead of calling this upgrade what what you can put that code here and then here this one is going to be these product details and then this one is already there which is definitely this one and then you can just say as purchase details is it as purchase details or as google purchase details yes and then you can just import this Okay, and then for the proration mode, what you need to do is just paste this package. The in-app purchase Android billing client repass, right? So if you go back now there, you'll be able to use this code without using that package, right? So if you like the video, please, please, please consider subscribing for more videos right yeah so don't forget to join the whatsapp channel the whatsapp group i keep on saying channel but it's a community don't forget to join it and ask questions there we'll be glad to assist and if you encounter any problems please come to the repo of this one package okay just create a new issue there or you can just give it a star. You are a star.